weeks since Stoller Middle School went on lockdown because of a threat emailed to the school. As of this morning, parents are still concerned since the person responsible for sending that message has not been determined. We go now to Elise Haas, who joins us live from Stoller Middle School with details about that investigation. Elise? No, that's right. So just days ago, parents were lining up here at Stoller Middle School, waiting for hours to pick up their kids after this lockdown. And so after that threat and scare, parents and students are worried. And to ease those fears, the Beaverton School District and Washington County deputies invited parents to a meeting last night. So hundreds of parents packed into the cafeteria, sharing the concerns they have for their children following that email threat referencing gun violence that shut down the middle school on Friday. Friday. So after a thorough search, deputies didn't find anything suspicious. Still, many parents have kept their kids home since the threat came out, and others feel more needs to be done to keep their kids safe. I'm really concerned with how this is being managed now because I don't feel the threat is over at all. It's still there. And why should I send my son to school now? The reason why we did what we did and why we do what we do is for the protection of the kids and for staff. We don't do it because it's in a manual somewhere. We don't do it because we want to get all our toys out and, and be a presence at the school. We do it for the protection and safety of the kids and staff. Another issue brought up was the unification process and a lack of communication. The district admitted that they could have done better here and moving forward, they'll try to improve during these kind of emergencies. And deputies are also reviewing their method to see where they can progress as well. Meanwhile, we still don't know who is responsible for the scare in the first place, but that's what something authorities are still looking into. Reporting live here at Stoller Middle School, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Yeah, and it's that unknown that is pretty troubling for those parents. Okay, thank you, Elise, for